Hi everyone, my name is Darcy Vance. I'm going to inform you today about English setters. Here is a very informational video on English setters. If elegance is an English trait, then this setter sure suits its name. They're beautiful to look at. They're athletic. And they also have an air of goofiness and playfulness about them. An English setter joined Herbert Hoover in the White House. And in the 1930s, a setter named Jim gained fame for picking seven Kentucky Derby winners. Each year, he would pick a card with the winner's name. Hey, good boy! I like them, and it's not just because I'm English by origin. English hunters wanted the perfect bird dog and companion. So around 300 years ago, they began combining the Spanish Spaniel, the Water Spaniel, and Springer Spaniel, developing a dog that went into a unique stance or set when stalking game. These elegant looks are actually built for the hunt, starting with a long, muscular neck, that flowing feathered coat, is the setter's most distinguishing trait. The color pattern on their coat is known as Belton markings for the town of Belton, England. Belton comes in orange, blue, lemon, liver, and tricolor varieties, but they're all born with white coats. The English setter has a unique color, but it's probably one of the sweetest of all the setters. Setters can adapt to most home environments, but need plenty of exercise. The long feathered coat requires brushing every two days. Anything to do with hunting comes easy to a setter, but a stubborn streak might challenge trainers. They just require somebody to really help them to show their stuff. There are a few congenital conditions to watch out for. English setters can be prone to hip dysplasia and deafness. Setters are great with families, but can be a little timid around rough and tumble young kids. English setters are good in an apartment if given daily exercise. They're prone to deafness and hip dysplasia. Setters require regular grooming, can challenge obedience trainers, and setters get along best in families mindful of the dog's sensitive side. English setters are medium-sized dogs. Females height range between 23 and 25 inches. Males height range between 20, 25 and 27 inches. Females weigh between 45 and 55 pounds, and males weigh between 60 and 80 pounds. Gun dogs tend to have shorter hair, while show dogs have longer hair. Their colors are blue belton, orange belton, liver belton, lemon belton, and tricolor. The color blue belton is white and black. The color orange belton is white and orange. The color lemon belton is white with orange and they have a light colored nose. The color liver belton is white with liver. Tricolor is blue or liver belton with tan markings on the face, neck, and legs. Puppies may not have all their markings while they're, when they are born, but as they grow, they tend to get more. The English setter's temperament is best described as gentlemen by nature. English setters are strong-willed and mischievous. They are also energetic and people-oriented. It is recommended that they have up to two hours of exercise each day. They are always on high alert when they are outside, but when they are inside, they tend to be couch potatoes and lap dogs. English setters are one of the oldest gun dogs in history. They are trained to hunt quail, pheasant, and grouse. The dog will seek the airborne scent of its prey. When the dog finds a bird, it gets on point, which is standing still with its tail pointed straight up, letting the hunter know there is a bird. When they see the dog pointing, they walk towards it to flush it so the bird can fly and the hunter can shoot the bird. After the bird has been killed, the dog retrieves it and brings it back to the hunter. Here's a few pictures of my English setter, and her name is Macy. As you can see, while she, when she's outside in the middle picture, she's always on alert, looking around, trying to find birds and butterflies and different things. And then when we're inside, all she likes to do 
is lay down on in on my bed with me. Thank you for watching.